Atari 50, the anniversary celebration, is about to get even better than it already is. This award-winning compilation of games, artifacts, and video segments from the first 50 years of Atari history was already pretty awesome when it dropped in 2022. Then in December of 2023, an unexpected free update delivered a dozen more playable games. But in October, Atari 50 will see its most significant expansion yet. I'll tell you all about it right after this. This video brought to you in part by Tommy in the order of Cosmic Champions. This exciting and heartwarming coming of age Gen X novel is available now. Check the link for more info. Hey there, welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I'm John and I am a Gen X Grown Up. Thanks for taking the time to click on this video. You know, my buddy Brian over at Ballistic Coffee Boy, who, by the way, I'm convinced sleeps with one hand resting on the Atari News Bat Phone, already posted a video out about this where he read the full press release and I'll link to his video down in the description if you'd like to see that. But here are the high points and why I think this news is important enough to talk about in this quick video. From the Atari press release, it says, Atari and developer Digital Eclipse are excited to announce a significant expansion to their acclaimed 2022 release, Atari 50 The Anniversary Collection. Collection? The new version entitled Atari 50 The Anniversary Celebration Expanded Edition adds two new timelines and 39 games to the playable Atari retrospective. And look, another 40 games would be a pleasant surprise, but it's the stuff around the games that most piques my interest. You might remember last month when Atari acquired Intellivision, I commented that we're seeing Atari gobbling up lots of stuff. We had Stern stuff, M Network, and Television, but doing very little with it outside of Berserk itself. But with this update, it's those two new interactive timelines that I'm most interested in. The two are, first, the wider world of Atari. Now this features 19 playable games, eight new video segments, and then all the cool trappings we'd expect, vintage ads and artifacts, all restored and visible there for you to explore. Now, this branch is said to cover how Atari has continued to influence creators and fans over the decades and delve into some other brands. The history around Berserk is even mentioned, so we know there'll be some stern talk in there. The other new branch of that uh, kind of interactive timeline is called The First Console War. Now this is said to feature 20 playable games, six new video segments, and promises to deliver some of those acquired M Network games. The ones we know Atari got, but other than drop them on the VCS store, haven't really appeared anywhere else yet. This is, I love that this news has come out. I really like the strategy of letting the Atari 50 package do what it does so well, which is not just preserve the games, like we can play the games, but provide meaningful context around these games and why they matter in the Atari history landscape. Now with this new name, Expanded Edition, there's going to be a new physical release across all platforms, as well as a fancy steelbook for the Switch, which uh, has some physical goodies like artwork and mini arcade marquees, but the best news of all, if you already own the Atari 50 Anniversary Celebration, all of this new content will be available as DLC later this year. Now, I'm gonna guess that with all the new work that went into this, it may not be free downloadable content, but this is just the type of extra stuff I'm willing to pay a few bucks to support, so bring it on. If you already have Atari 50, are you planning to pick up this expansion? And if you didn't already have it, you should, by the way, it's pretty great. Will this expanded edition do anything to make you finally pull the trigger? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And in the meantime, links to other Atari news and editorials here and here. I certainly hope you found something to enjoy in this quick video, and I cannot wait to talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.